G'day Spurs fans, Paul Hotspur Hippie here, the only psychedelic soccer show on the internet. It's a really miserable day outside, so I'm stuck at home, and I thought, what do I really like doing nothing better than on a on a sort of getting towards winter wet day in si old Sydney town? Well, I like going through financial reports, don't I? That's what football's all about, that's what gets the kids excited. So I've had a quick look at the financial reports here from Tottenham. And I'll tell you what, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've got to preface this by saying I have not got a clue uh, about this, but I, you know, I can read financial statements and stuff like that. And I'll give you my two cents worth because uh, I'm waiting for Sean Butler to do it, but he's uh, he's been a bit under the weather. I'm sure he'll get there and do a much better job. So in the meantime, here's my take on it. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole lot because I, I, I've just glanced through the whole lot. And um, it's it's really boring. So I'll just give you the exciting bits I found. Hang on. I've got to find my right button on my thing here. <laughs> here we go. Now, when I'm looking at financial reports, I just look at big changes in numbers from one year to the next. And then I have a look at some details and stuff behind it to see if it's Bubba or not. Because I don't know if you're aware, this accounting is just arcane. You might as well look in a teacup. You know, you might think, oh, it's no, it's all black and white. Really isn't. It really isn't. It's a load of fudgy old crap. But that's the way the world works. Capitalism. Now, the things I've noticed, look, the two big things that I'm worried about on this, two big things. One is, well... The headline is what well, we made about uh, an £89 million loss, which doesn't mean anything really. doesn't mean someone has to put their hands in the pocket and give £89 million over or anything like that. It can do. Um, or it could hide even more than that need being required. But here we go. Oh, so here we go. £86,794,000 86, uh, loss for the year. Now, why did they lose money? It's very hard to say because they don't go into too much detail. There's a fair bit of write-downs in here, like amortisation of, you know, I don't know if this is players in here. I mean, that could be just Ndombele, couldn't it? Ndombele <laughs> almost gets written off and we make a loss on that. But a couple of things I really don't like about this, and, you know, when, when people laud these uh, these CEOs and businessmen and they are, aren't they great? Well, for one, they're just telling other people what to do, and they're just looking after their own self-interests. And I don't think the, the, the club is being particularly well run. The size of Tottenham Hotspur is a massive club in London, and it's only through the, ownership, the, the successive ownerships of Irving Scholar, Alan Sugar, and the clowns we've got in at the moment that, you know, it's been a bit like that. But it, we could have been, we could, we could be doing so much more at Tottenham. We really could. Now, on the other hand, this isn't me saying oh, I'll leave you out and all that. I mean, I hate them, but I don't know what you would take the value of Tottenham Hotspur to be these days. Let's say three and a half billion. Well, your pool of people that can buy something like that, as far as individual goes, individuals goes, it's really tiny. So outside of that. You'd be looking, and they'd be psychopaths anyway. If you've got that much money, you're a psychopath. So what we're saying is we don't like Levy and Enoch, but we want a bigger psychopath to buy it. And whoever buys it, they're going to want to take that money back, aren't they? They're not, they're, no one's a charity. So outside of wealthy individuals, then you'd be looking at things like venture capitalist funds and all, hedge, oh, then it gets all horrible, really horrible. So maybe the best bet if, if, um, if, uh, if as, as the general report says, we're looking for investment, maybe the best thing for football would be if some country buys Tottenham Hotspur, which is ridiculous. I mean, this is the world we live in. But anyway, the bits I didn't like on this uh, financial statement, big one here, non-current liabilities. So we're currently $1.2 billion in debt. That's gone up over since 2019. That's gone up like nearly 400 million. 400 million in four years. It's going up. Our debt is going up 100 million every year. 
And there's always fine print in this. It says, oh, well, most of it's all set at like 2% over 30 years. Well, it keeps on going up, though. It's going up. It's going the wrong way. And who's pay- the, the reason I don't like this is because who's paying for this? It's not Enoch and Daniel Levy. That's us. That's us paying for this obligation here. This is the stadium cost right here, you know. Speaking of the stadium, this is a mysterious thing that's in here. Look at this. Net assets. Last year, $1.3 billion. This year, $1.8 billion. Where do we get £500 million pounds worth of assets? Oh, well... The, uh, the stadium is revalued. See what I mean? It always being completely bloody shonky stuff. The stadium was revalued at a value of about 400 to 500 million more than, was, than it was last year. I mean, that is a really easy way, in my mind, to fudge the book. So if they hadn't have done that, we would have been making a, a lot bigger of a loss. So where's all the bloody money going? Daniel Levy, Enoch. What, what's happening? It's just been... To me, this these these reports just look like money's just being pissed down the toilet somewhere. I can't figure out where it is, but something's not right here. And it looks to me like, and I'm going to put my tin foil hat on here, the the revaluation of the stadium to put the asset price up, mixture with a few things that have been written off that I don't understand. It could just be a way of minimising tax. But to me, it looks like they're pumping up the value of the club uh, to get a buyer in. And I'm just wondering where where the upside is for people, you know, coming in. I mean, I mean, but CEOs are dumb. They're not going to look at these sheets, are they? So, look, I mean, this is a real weird one for me. Uh, revaluing the stadium up, up 400 to 500 million. That's what's given us, that's what's given us money this year. For, uh, I don't know where the money's going. Um, there's a few bit of the, the amortization here. <clears throat> it's funny. And, the, and this is the thing, the way business people talk, they always try and make it, they always try and put their shit on you, you know? So the reasons for the, the operating loss, uh, the, the loss that the, the company gives is, oh, well, you know, it's cost of living, rising prices, rising rates, right? Rising electricity bills, but we've written off that amount as well. So why don't you say, oh, it's the amount of dodgy shit that we've bought and it's not worth anything. Don't blame that. Don't blame it on your previous bad decisions. No, 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 no. Even though it's broadly speaking in the ballpark of being the same amount. No, no, no. It's not all the stuff we've paid too much for and then gone, ah. it's all the stuff that you understand because you're dumb out there, aren't you? You're just a football fan. The only thing you can understand is cost of living because that's what everyone else is saying. No, it's because they've written a load of stuff off. Look at that. Written a load of stuff off. So there you go. I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it just doesn't look right. For the size of Tottenham Hotspur, it just doesn't look right to me. The way debt's increasing, the way they're arbitrarily valuing the stadium, and the way that they're uh, pointing the finger at, uh, you know, society, basically. Society is to blame. No, there's some bad decisions being made here. Bad decisions at Tottenham. But I don't have an answer for you, I'm afraid. You know, I'm just doing this because I'm bored. It's the world we live in. This stupid, you know... Whoa, why is that taking so long to grow up there? It's the world you live in. There's no fix to it. There's no fix to it because, like I say, someone buys it for, you know, four billion. They're going to want four billion from somewhere, aren't they? They're not going to get it from us in a hurry unless they put prices up and, you know, squeeze people more and more. Um, so that's why I say, look, a country is probably the best bet for football. They're, they're, they're going to be less inclined to want their money back as, as quickly. But I'd be steering clear of any white, uh, knight, in, uh, white knight in shining armour any uh, consortiums, anything like that. Um, that that's that just, just It's just totally anti-football. Anyway, folks, you know, there we go. That's the business update. Uh, hopefully, I, that's it. I won't have to do that for another year. I won't have to do that for another year. That's good. Till next time, folks. Peace and love, man. Peace and love. I'm coming, you Spurs.